I take this gear off now, Julian? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this, this had to be hot as well. No, <laughs> leave the hat on. Just we, 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 we wanted to make you feel welcome. That was the thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was all it was. It was just <laughs> <laughs> it's just all all too itchy, you know. We, we thought, well, you know, the, the Yorkshire vet. Yeah, we better put a flat cap on and and. Uh, I used, Turn it down your trousers. I used to wear a flat cap all the time when I first started as a vet. And it was my grandfather's flat cap. And he was a, an amazing guy who was probably one of the, the the first people really to get me interested in animals. And he kept pigs and, and uh, had a small holding. And what, when he when he died, uh, when I was a little kid, I, I sort of inherited his collection of flat caps. And, and I used to wear them mm. kind of constantly. When I was a little kid, I, you know, Kess... The, the film about the little lad who has the kestrel. Oh, yeah. A yeah. little bit like that. I was this sort of a bit kind of like a Yorkshire urchin, and I used to wear a flat cap and have ferrets and go down to the Greyhound track. And, um, and, and yeah, and I kept that flat cap all the way through university and into my first job mm -hmm. as a vet. I, I, used to, I used to wear the flat cap when I was a, a mixed practice vet. I used to wear it out on the farm. Yeah. Um, thinking, you know, it might have a bit of credibility. But actually, I, <laughs> yeah. I love it. They're great hats. They stay on even in a strong wind, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Good. I was going to say they stay on. They're remarkably warm, aren't they? Um, yeah. They don't cover up your ears, so you can still hear things and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, versatile yeah. pieces of equipment. They're, they're very, they're very yeah. useful. Although they've been taken over from Yorkshire now, haven't they? Because there's a whole group of guys on the television who, <laughs> who talk like this, and they wear flat caps, don't they? With a red scalp. The Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders, really cool. are, You yeah. wear it back to front like that. Uh, sometimes. Uh, that looks like Eminem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Frank Spencer. Or, or, uh, or you can wear them. <laughs> Frank, 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 Frank Spencer. Mm, Bet Betty. Oh, gosh, he, he, uh, he died of death, didn't he, really? Michael yeah. Crawford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a brilliant stuntman, wasn't he? He used to do all his own stunts. Yeah, it was one of the very early episodes of, of the Yorkshire Vet. Um, I, I was, I was, it was, they were trying to do something lighthearted about what we do in our spare time away from work. And at the time, I was training to do a ski mountaineering race across the Swiss Alps called the Patrol de Glacier. And it goes from Zermatt to Verbier mm -hmm. across all up and down mountains and stuff. And to train in, in Yorkshire, there's obviously no snowy mountains. So I, I got these roller skis. And I was practicing every spare moment on these roller skis on the quiet roads of Yorkshire where no one would see me. And you had mm. to have a road that was the right flatness because if any kind of incline and you'd either not go forwards or you'd go forwards really, really fast and out of control because they've got no brakes. And, um, <laughs> and so one of my friends who was a camera person for the Yorkshire Bear said, oh, you know, Julie, can we, you know, you know, what can we do? We want to do something kind of a bit comical, what you might do when you're not at work. And it was, they came to filming going down this bumpy road in the middle of the North Yorkshire Moors. And what I didn't realise was when I bought these <laughs> long skis, um, I'd got the wrong bindings for the skis, which meant it was almost impossible to ski on. I didn't realise that, I've never done it before. And it was just like Frank Spencer on that episode where he was on his roller skates and he went- And he grabs the bike. Exactly, yeah. And yeah. the bus, yeah. right, the bus. And then and he goes under under a lorry, and it was just like that, and I was thinking, bloody. and I'd been making a point of going specifically to quiet roads where no one could see me, and the next thing I knew, <laughs> the camera pointing at me, and it ended up in, I mean, you know, episode three of series four or whatever <laughs> on National, and it still persists, actually, there's a little, um, there's a rolling BT clip in the World of James Herrick Museum in Thursk, and the, mm. one, the, the little clip they chose to show over and over again on a loop to visitors to Thursk who want to experience the veterinary um, <laughs> story. It was me on these ridiculous roller skis looking like Frank Spencer. Luckily, I didn't have a, my flat cap on backwards on that. Uh, oh, good. So, good. so do, you, do you still do your own stunts on the show then? <laughs> it's all me. It's all me, yeah. yeah. We had, um, I was supposed to be seeing a pig the other day. It got abandoned because the cameraman went to see the pig in advance he, he needed his feet cutting or trimming like a sort of pet pig and as I'm on my way there the, the camera guy had gone there in advance to prepare and get anyway the the pig had attacked him and charged at him and, and taken a big gouge out of the inside of his thigh um, 
Ooh. So yeah, it is. As you'll know, it can be quite dangerous, and uh, and and it does sometimes feel like we're doing stunts. I think, doesn't it? <laughs> it, it does. 